Welcome, this is Mission Control Houston at the NASA Johnson Space Center, and this is the space station update for Thursday, September 15th, wishing a safe journey to the three returning Expedition 28 crew members. After 164 days in space and 162 days aboard the space station, Expedition 28 crew members Ron Guerin, Andre Borisenko, and Alexander Samakutayev return home tonight aboard their Soyuz TMA-21 spacecraft. Farewells and hatch closure are scheduled for 4.20 p.m. Central Time. Undocking from the Poisk module is scheduled at 7.38 p.m. Central Time. And landing on that southern steppe of Kazakhstan is scheduled at 11 p.m. Central Time. That is 10 a.m. Kazakhstan time Friday morning. To prepare for today's departure, the six station crew members were allowed to sleep in and awoke this morning at 8 a.m. Central instead of their typical 1 a.m. time. It's the first full day with uh, U.S. astronaut Mike Fossum as commander, and today Garen will perform his final saliva test for that integrated immune hu human research experiment. This information helps scientists and doctors develop countermeasures to reduce in-flight health issues. Garen will also do some last-minute stowage and make sure that the ham radio is deactivated. Satoshi Furukawa will work with the uh, U.S. Waste Hygiene Compartment today, answer some questions about the amount and types of food he is eating, and make sure that the station's handheld device that measures gas concentration, the compound-specific analyzer that measures combustion products, is working uh, and in good working order. Fossum will also answer some questions about the amount and types of food that he is eating. These questions are part of the human studies done here at the Johnson Space Center that help uh, prepare for future space flights. He will also conduct an inventory and stowage conference with flight controllers today and work on the capillary flow experiment. That's another one of the physics experiments on board the International Space Station. It studies the effect of gravity on the flow of fluids. And that uh, can be a challenge when designing a spacecraft system because of liquid propellants and also waste management and recycling issues. At the time of undocking today, Commander Mike Fossum, along with Sergei Volkov and Satoshi Furukawa, uh, they will become the Expedition 29 crew as they await the launch of Dan Burbank, Anaton Shkaplerov, and Anatoly Ivanishin. Crew members today will also uh, take some pictures. Uh, they have an opportunity to capture the cities of, or actually the uh, area of West Hawk Impact Crater in Manitoba near Winnipeg. Also Nassau uh, in the Bahamas and wildfires that are taking place in Oregon and Idaho. Wildfires have not only been an issue here in Texas over the past few months, but they've also been an issue in the Northwest as they have had many outbreaks. And in fact, uh, there have been evacuations in the Mount Hood area and other regions of Oregon. The crew is to take pictures today of the smoke plums. Here in the flight control room, the Orbit 2 team is on duty with Flight Director Dina Cantilla, along with spacecraft communicator or Capcom astronaut Barry Butch Wilmore. Wilmore is a native of Tennessee. He piloted Atlantis on STS-129. And you may remember him as the Capcom during ascent and landing uh, during STS-135, the final historic mission of the space shuttle program.